Okay, question four um, is a trig question. It's given us this equation here and asks us to find the value of tan theta. So we can use the um, relationship that tan squared theta plus one is sec squared theta. Oops. So if we swap that in for uh, the sec squared up there, we're gonna get three tan squared theta plus one plus the 10 tan theta take 11 equals zero. If we expand this and tidy up, we're gonna get three tan squared theta. I'll write the 10 tan theta next. And then we're gonna get plus three from here and take 11, so that's minus eight equals zero. So this is now one of those quadratic um, questions where in, in, in tan theta instead of in an x. So we can factorize this. It's gonna be three tan theta and tan theta. And we need to make an eight. So it's either gonna be eight and one, which won't get us a 10, or four and two, which will. Uh, so that would be 12 and take away two will give us 10. So that's the correct factorization which means tan theta is equal to two thirds or tan theta is equal to negative four. Normally those two solutions would be okay, but there's only one value of tan theta that's correct for this question. You, you've got a hint of that from the thing, it says value rather than values, but it's not obvious why only one of these is right and one of them is wrong. And it's not the usual reason for sine and cos, which is that it has to be between minus one and one. It doesn't have to be between minus one and one. The reason why one of these isn't correct is because of the region that theta's between. Theta has to be between 90 and 180. And if we think about the tan graph, which is this, well, ish, that's 90 and 180 here, if theta is between 90 and 180, we get a negative answer. So the answer is this one, not this one. Tan theta equal to, equaling to two thirds would be here, or here would be positive. And, the, and there isn't an answer between 890 and 180 um, um, for two thirds. So it's not this one, this is not correct. It's only tan theta equals negative four.